guys, so today we're looking at the Season X live event and a little bit of what happened yesterday and uh, so before we do that I want to take you over to the rocket before it actually launched and as you see I was here a day and a half before that, almost two days. Um, but down here um, there is an actual you could hear the whole voice of the visitor or the scientist, whatever one it is. Um, and you play this and it will translate all the video or, or the sound files that you collected. And uh, so we're going to take a listen to that. Here it is. What the seven of us are attempting is very risky. I suspect they are not the only ones watching, but it must be done or we lose the bridge forever. I speculate that no one calculated the formation of the island, and that interdimensional matter collisions would resolve rather than push. Now that I witnessed it firsthand, it's obvious that pinching alone made it inevitable. When I hear this again, will it help me remember? Or once looped, will I be just as muted as the others? No matter, it seems the lengthy precautions worked. The theorem was a success. I, us, you, arrived outside the loop at the exact moment of expansion. This effectively paused the singularity, giving us time to create the devices needed to synchronize the junction. What I didn't factor was that the only way to trigger the device was from within the loop itself. Thus, this hasty and primitive recording and why now you, I, find myself looped. Activate the beacon at precisely the moment this timer reaches nothing. The zero point must be contained once more. If they are correct, it will be the end. So there you go. You have the whole audio clip together. And so basically he told us that we need to do this at the very end of the countdown and it will start the rocket um now he goes into pinching and talking about how it gets looped and stuff like that and which is kind of where the dimension of the zero point is and um that there's seven of seven of them whether they're the uh visitors or scientists whatever you want to call them and so yeah, they've kind of like looped themselves or talked to themselves in some kind of way. That's why there's different ones. We have three of them so far. Um, but yeah, so far, that's all I really know about. But then I did record, was recording for the, the end event. But um, as you know, with every freaking live event, servers go bad and most people don't even get in. That was really the case this season when a lot of people didn't really get in and I only got in for um, towards the end but um, I do have Dr. Lupo's live feed that we uh, that he had for the Fortnite um, being live um, so we're gonna play that until I cut in and then you'll definitely see the difference because we're two different characters and he goes off screen so Yep, that's about it, and uh, I'll talk to you guys after the video. Six, five, here we go. Warning. Uh-oh. Everybody okay? Nothing's happened over there yet. I expect that entire structure to just go up in a ball fire here in a second. Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh, 
Yo, that whole thing's gonna get smashed. Oh shoot! Bye. It just watch, it just leaves. And then we just hang out here. It's all good. Everything's fine, chat. No big deal. Okay. Alright, yeah, that's normal. That's yep, that's falling back. Alright, he's He's gone. It's all good. Oh, that crash. Wait a second. One, two, three, four, five. They're all over the place. Let's get in the back. It's all the way in the back. It's basically round two. Wait, what? Dude, there's like, there's a whole bunch of them. Dude, there's a whole bunch of them. Oh my god. I'm ex Yo, some of these structures are just gonna get destroyed as they fly through. Base is still just chilling there. We got rockets flying left and right. Bye! Oh, oh, oh. Everybody's leaving. That's it. The end. But he's behind the rock or the behind the meteor. That looked like it was good contact too. The, the cloud is all going is going nuts too. There's like a whole crap ton of them. Wait. The meteor just got sucked into it? The meteor's gone! They saved the world? Nothing in the sky. I can't do anything. Uh, they didn't save it. The meteor's back. Yo. So that was the whole live event and what you see on the screen now is what everybody saw and what everybody's seeing currently 
I'm even having it right now on the screen myself. And so everybody was on this for hours and hours after the live event supposedly was supposed to end and stuff like this. Because it was only supposed to be an hour. We didn't realize how many, how, how long it was going to be. So after hours of looking at this, it actually started showing us numbers and the numbers correlated to words that were in the message that I showed you before this. And uh, here in a second I'll show them. But so the first coordinates everybody put in for Google Maps and it actually showed a picture of a crab rave. So everybody was thinking that Fortnite was just screwing with us. Um, they might have done that on purpose, I have no idea. But it was really funny to see. But um, so here's what we got out of the numbers to actually make a sentence. I was not alone. And these were the first numbers that showed up 11, 146, 15, and 62. The next ones are here. The others are, others are outside the loop. So thinking that there are other people. This was not calculated. So we don't know if um, the going into here was calculated or not. Nothing is the nothing is now inevitable. So yeah, those are what we had, and that is it. It's on a loop after that. So every couple hours, it will give you one sentence. Um, but other than that, there's nothing else to do besides one awesome mini game, and that's about it. But that is all we actually have to go off of. Um, there's no more secrets until we actually figure out where we come out or what happens after this. So that's about it. That's all I have today. Um, share your ideas. Tell me what's up. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys.